Hey everybody, it's Jason with Walrus Audio here today to introduce you to the Canvas Tuner. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna dive into some of the menus, uh, show you some of the things that uh, we think make it really special. I get to watch it in action, um, so stick around. Cool, so let's jump into the Canvas Tuner. So. Here we have it set up in a pretty standard setup. This is a bypass screen that you're looking at here. So when the tuner's off, it'll display uh, whatever you have selected for the bypass screen. Um, we'll see that in a little bit where you can change that. But here we have just the standard canvas um, logo for the bypass. And we click the switch here. We jump into needle mode. So I've got this guitar in tune. Maybe I shouldn't have just tuned it. So we can drop and kind of come out of tune. We'll come back up to pitch here. Yeah, so you can see on the screen, we're displaying um, what's happening with your signal. So it's muted, that's where the word mute is indicating. Uh, you've got the uh, target note in the center, and then uh, what we call the graticule at the top, which is um, or kind of our needle strip where we're showing um, if you're sharp or flat. You notice when I leave the center, the needle will turn red. And as I come back to the center and I get within our in tune threshold, it'll turn green. And then you can also see the bottom uh, right corner is showing our reference pitch. To change that to strobe mode, we'll go to tuner, um, and then we'll go to mode, and then we'll drop to strobe, click into that, and then we just click the stomp switch a couple times to back out. You can still see we're showing that we're muted um, and that we're still at set to 440, but now you can see strobe mode working here. So. Again, a direct connection to the incoming pitch of the signal. So if we're flat, if we're below the reference, then the, the dial is going to turn counterclockwise. Um, and as we come to pitch, it starts to get slow down and stop. If we're sharp, it's gonna turn uh, clockwise. The canvas tuner also works really well on bass. Um, it goes down to it handles low B, low C on bass just fine, as well as, of course, electric guitar and acoustic guitar, uh, baritone guitars, whatever you want to throw at it. Let's jump into the display menu and see some of the things we can change about the display. So we have brightness here. We can bring that up or down, um, depending on how bright your environment is where you're using the tuner. Um, we've got different color themes. So a bunch of different colors to pick from. Uh, when you select one, what that's gonna change is the target note. So there may be a color that you prefer that's easier to see than others, kind of based on your environment, or maybe just your favorite colors in here. And you wanna set it to that. I'll go back to the default. Um, the standby screen is the screen that when the tuner's not on, it's uh, what that looks like. So. Uh, canvas here is that canvas uh, screen that we were seeing earlier. Just show you real quick, it looks like this. Um, we can go back and pick Screensaver, which is the Walrus logo that moves across the screen and bounces off the sidewalls, but never hits the corner. And then even more fun than that might be picture mode. So when we select picture mode, come out here and we got a little encouragement for you. You sound great. What's even more fun than that is picture mode allows you to upload your own image to the pedal to be used in picture mode. A really cool feature of the Canvas Tuner is orientation. So because of this screen, we're able to rotate uh, the orientation of the screen in 90 degree increments all the way around the dial. So if we set it to 90 degrees, now everything, now everything's changed 90 degrees. It's shifted 90 degrees clockwise. So if you wanna position the tuner on your board um, in this uh, orientation, because that fits with your pedal board layout, no problem. You can just rotate the screen and we can still tune just like we did before. Tune assist still works. Um, this works in both uh, needle and strobe mode. So I will jump to 180, and that will flip it completely upside down. Now I will jump to 270, 
You can see now, so maybe you want the jacks to be on the right side of the pedal in sort of this landscape orientation. You would just go over to 270 and you have it set up like that. So that's the Canvas Tuner. Um, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out with us and checking it out. Um, it's available now worldwide at all of our dealers, as well as our website, walrusaudio.com. Um, we hope you guys will grab one of these and enjoy it. We think it'll be a great addition to um, your rig, and I think you'll have a lot of fun using it. So thanks a lot. <laughs>